Welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about KVM storage pool configuration. By default, uh, libvirdd creates a directory called var lib libvirdd slash images. All the guest VM images, image is basically a file which is represented uh, as a disk on the guest machine. This directory stores uh, all images and this is by default on uh, operating system drive. So what is recommended that uh, you create a storage pool and use this particular directory as a mount point. So you are not putting your images on operating system. You are using a separate mount point. In this lab, uh, I'm going to use uh, the secondary disk on my VMware guest machine, uh, which is 40 GB in size and its device name is slash tab slash sdb to be configured uh, for storage pool. I will create a LVM VG with name LVM lab underscore KVM underscore storage and a LV with name lab underscore KVM underscore LV and uh, we'll be creating XFS file system on top of the LV. You may be thinking why I'm using the LVM now. I'm talking about storage pool on one instance on other I'm using uh, LVM underneath. I'm using LVM underneath because in case I have to do some future expansions of disk or have to add uh, new disk I can simply manage those easily in uh, LVM and in storage pool level that's basically at hypervisor level so I can uh, manage the things differently as per hypervisor standards. You can see on screen the commands which I've listed to create a VG. You can pick any other name for your VG LVM things. That's up to you. Then I'm updating FS type file to make sure on every reboot this particular LVM is mounted uh, on the desired mount point. Then I'm mounting the file system. After that, I'm running a couple of wash commands to define the pool. Define is basically uh, creating the pool and uh, telling like which is uh, going to be target directory. Or target mount point to be used then I'm enabling uh, auto start of pool auto start mean whenever system gets rebooted pool will be automatically started by default it is not enabled so you have to make sure you enable the auto start of pool then you have to start the pool so the pool will be active then you can simply run pool list to make sure pool is listed all these settings are good if you want to see more detail uh, like what is the pool what disk is using what is the capacity how much data is utilized you can uh, run command wash pool dash list dash dash all dash dash detail so let's do a quick lab guys so here let me show you what disks i got so i got sdb which is 40 gb which is not used anywhere so i'm going to create a pv for this one So PV is created. Let's create a VG now. Volume group created. Yep, 40 GB in total capacity. That's good. Let's create a logical volume or LV. I'm using 100% free disk. So LV is created. Yep, looks good. 40 GB in size. Let's create a XFS file system on this particular LV. XFS is created. Now we have to update it FS tab. So let me edit FS tab file. Here I'm adding entry. This is my KVM guest images store. And I'm updating the LV and uh, file system details plus mount point. So that's done. Saving this file, I'm uh, showing you DF minus A output or DF minus H output, what is uh, at present. And uh, here I'm going to run mount minus A. Let's set DF minus H. You can see this particular directory is mounted now on this uh, LV which we just created. Let's check content inside this one. There is nothing that's good. So, guys, uh, we have finished our KVM level things. So now let's use Versh to create a storage pool for our VMs. So let's list out what are the pools which we got at present. 
वर्ष पूल डैश लिस्ट राइट नाउ देर इज नो पूल सो आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए पूल टू क्रिएट ए पूल दैट्स वेरी इजी वर्ष पूल डिफाइन डैश एस योर पूल नेम द पूल नेम विच यू वॉन्ट टू गिव यू कैन पिक एनी कस्टम नेम इट शुड नॉट बी डुप्लीकेटेड पूल नेम शुड बी यूनिक टाइप डी आई आर आई एम सेंग इट इज यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर माउंट पॉइंट for its storage uh, capacity or storage purposes pressing enter pool is defined let's check okay you may be wondering pool is defined but uh, why it is not uh, listed here because pool is not started so let's start the pool quickly to start wash pool start and pool name it started let's list the pools now you can see pool is active which is good it is in configuration enabled mode now but its auto start is set to no which i mentioned some time back uh, by default pool is not auto start uh, enabled we have to enable the auto start capabilities of this particular pool so simply run wash pool dash auto start then the pool name press enter it's marked at auto start now let's list the pool pool is active auto start yes everything is good guys If you want to see a bit more detail about uh, the pools on your system, you can simply run uh, wash pool list dash dash all. All mean all the pools on the system dash dash details. So this is going to list out uh, details about all pools on your system. You can see here it is telling uh, this is the pool state is running. Auto start is yes. Persistent pool yes. capacity is this one allocation is only 32 mb because uh, nothing is created yet on this particular pool available capacity is 39 gb which is basically capacity of the mount point uh, which we created uh, here 39 point something gb so guys uh, with this step we have finished uh, the storage pool configuration for our kvm lab setup thank you